Hi and welcome to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy and today I've got a quick tip for you on taking better images with your cell phone. Nowadays we all uh, carry our cell phones with us everywhere. They've kind of become the new point and shoot. And I'm going to talk about uh, an app that I have been using recently called True HDR. What this does is allows you to basically create HDR images on your iPhone. If you don't know what HDR is, it basically stands for High Dynamic Range. It takes a series of images of different exposures and uh, combines them together to create an image that has a lot more tonal range than you could normally capture. And there's plenty of videos on YouTube on HDR if you want to research and learn more about it. Well, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, this, this shot right here of this tank. And I'm going to basically bring up the True HDR app and you can see you've got choices from auto all the way down to manual capture. I would recommend starting with the auto and let it uh, do everything for you and when you get more comfortable work up to the uh, the manual capture but at this point all we have to do is compose the image hit the button and it takes three shots for us the next screen you get is the screen right here that shows uh, a couple of the images and you just hit merge it takes a few seconds and uh, it blends these all in together and now we've got our basic HDR image but what's cool about this app is it doesn't stop there. The next thing it does is it presents you with this screen with these sliders where you can adjust things like warmth and contrast and really tweak the image and uh, make it a little bit better. From there, you can click on the little FX button at the bottom and it brings you up all these cool presets. Uh, everything from uh, making it look monochromatic to uh, retro. I really like the retro one. Uh, but you can play around and try those different presets and then you save the file and uh, you end up with this and you can see the before and after is quite a difference in the two images and it really uh, is not difficult at all to do you just hit the button so uh, it's a pretty cool app I think it's $1.99 on the App Store definitely worth checking out so uh, give it a try and let me know what you think and be sure to check back for more tutorials thanks a bunch bye bye